Hi guys, it's Lindsay with Mama Schmooze Homeschool Reviews. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing all about Themeville Math. This was given to me just to use, and I got this last year, so I figured I would give you guys a video just to flip through this and share with you guys what it's all about. Now, we will be dabbling into it this year, and we've already worked on some of it for the summer. My daughter is just now in starting in first grade, so last year she was too young to start in it. I figured we would work on it in the summer and see if it was a good fit for us. They sent me a box of great manipulatives, which I love. I love hands-on math. And then a bunch of workbooks from 1A to 1D. And this is the answer key book that you'll get. There's all of the answers, four to a page. But I wanted to share this because it might fit some of your kids' needs. Your kids might learn this way, so I wanted to do a quick little flip through. We are definitely using some of the workbooks and going through some of the concepts and this will be a foundation for us and like I said I'll be using the manipulatives for some of the hands-on things and some of the pages will just do orally so I am not going to use this the way it's set up to be I'm not going to go page by page every single day if you're new to my channel I like to kind of use lots of math workbooks and put them together and do a lot of hands-on and oral mental math with my kids for now because they are still young so let's get started with the workbook 1a it's going to be talking about numbers 0 to 10, counting 0 to 10, line, comparison, addition using the line numbers. They're going to introduce the color rods and they're going to start introducing subtraction from 0 to 10. Partitioning, additional equations, word problems, and they have some tests at the end which you can do or you don't have to do because like I said, you're the homeschool mom so you can do exactly what you want to do. Um, they also touch a little bit on money and a little bit about measuring at the very end so here are the pre-lessons are very very easy they're just counting and writing numbers and getting familiar with numbers now this is just a review from things that they learned in probably preschool or kindergarten and they're introducing like lines and what a line means filling in numbers so it's pretty easy in the beginning counting forwards and backwards as per the pattern and they show a number line they're getting them familiar with using it with their addition they do comparison, they're talking about coins, the bags and the money, the coins in the bags I meant, compare the following numbers they have, they have addition using dots, and then they have addition with line numbers. Now some stuff I did and some stuff we skipped over because I thought it was very repetitive. A lot of math books are very repetitive and that's just not my style to just keep on teaching my kids something over and over again if they kind of already get it. But some some parents like to do that and I understand why. Um, here are the color rods. Uh, these are the show the addition equations with a diagram and so you'll be doing the color rods with this and I really like it because it's super visual and I will show the manipulatives to you guys right after I show you the workbooks. So you'll use a color rod and it'll be four units and then the other color rod will be three units and then that will equal seven. So it's very, very visual and always the first questions, they'll always gray the answers in for them to so just get like of an idea of what uh, the actual question is asking if there is a question and then they have compare the following numbers they have them perform the following additional uh, equations and wanting them to answer that fill the link dimensions from addition equation and so a lot of things they will be repeating throughout the book so that they will master it write subtraction equations counting forward from a smaller number and I like how they have little squares and little circles for them to fill in the numbers some counting backwards and subtraction and so on and so forth and here are some of the word problems that they do I like how they have little images they're all black and white so if your kids get distracted by too much busyness on the work pages these are perfect for them if they like color they can do these work problems and then they can color in after they're done and then they have like these little um, tests and pre-lessons before I guess so that they know that they mastered whatever they learned prior so I don't know if I'll be doing all of them I did one of them with my daughter the other day and I just did it orally with her and it was very very simple now I like the way they choose to do the double digits it's really cool they they put the number here 10 and 8 so 10 and 8 is 18 so they merge the two squares together visually and it makes sense to me so I'm, I'm hoping it'll make sense to my kids um, or my daughter 
10 and 9 is 19, and then 10 plus 9 equals 19. And they have that merging together, and then they show you with the dots, they can count them. And then they also show you adding through the number lines and through the color rods. So they get all these different concepts and all these ways of adding, and it just hopefully will get into their head um, pretty quickly on how to mentally add things together. Now they're also learning how to write the words, and which is very important. So they're doing the numerals, circle the biggest number, pretty simple stuff, and money. And then they're doing some measuring. And I think they measure with the color rods here, and then they're going to be measuring with an actual like ribbon on here or a ruler. And they give you a ruler in this program. This is workbook 1B, and I want to try to go pretty quickly through this so you can see just like what it's all about. Word problems, addition 0 to 20, additions with number line, money, more word problems, subtraction 0 to 20, number 0 to 20, and 0 to 40, numer numerals, and measuring lengths and word problems. So this is the beginning. This is what they'll be doing. Subtracting more word problems. Number line graphs, or number line addition, subtraction. Subtraction with color rods. Then they do like the word problems. Instead of putting tomatoes, they actually just do dots. So the pictures are no longer, the images are no longer in the word problems. They're just using dots, I guess, to get them more used to visualizing and mentally doing it themselves. And then here they're teaching the place values, which I really think is great the way they do it. They show you the tens and they show you the ones. And then when it gets to 11, they show you tens here. And then this is the one. And then they merge them together. And then they have them grade in here. I don't know if you could see. So they could actually trace it. And I really like that. They have it here as well. Count backwards and follow the pattern. So there's a lot of things that I really enjoy. Um, how they teach some of the concepts in here and since I'm a visual learner I think it'll work for my daughter so here is 1c the contents are adding 1 or 10 skip counting by 10 word problems comparison 0 to 40 numbers 0 to 100 chart 0 to 100 counting backwards by 10 skip counting by 5 numbers 0 to 100 so if your kids already know some of these things um, you might want to look into the second grade level or if they've already learned some of these concepts, they could just skip them and um, just work on a few pages if you want. But it's really very, I guess it's a, a workbook where it's more of a mastering, mastering the actual math concept. And I love this, how they do 26 plus 1, and they highlight the 6 and the 1, showing them that you just have to add 6 plus 1 equals 7, and then you carry the 2 over to get the answer. More word problems. Now, there were four fish in the tank. Three more fish were added. They want them to actually draw it on there, so that's pretty cool for kids that like to draw and that they could color. So if, even though it's a, a black and a white workbook, you can be creative. If your kids are artists, they could draw on it. And so I like how they also do see, again, they're doing the tens and then the ones over here. And the tens and the ones over here, and they want you to put what the answer is in the rectangle right there. So that is 1C. Oops. <laughs> and then this is the last book that they'll be doing. Addition, subtraction with number line, comparison 0 to 100, word problems, chart 0 to 100. They do a lot of charts. And they also do data, data analysis and they do ordinal numbers. So that is all that they go over for the first grade level. You can see the word problems they'll probably draw it themselves. They do a lot of measuring with a ribbon, a lot of a lot of color rods, and they have a lot of fun ways of doing like pipe cleaners with beads, kind of like an abacus. And then here are the charts, zero to hundred, that they'll fill in, and some of the tests and stuff that they do here. And that is that is pretty much it. Here's a really quick overview of the manipulatives. You get the place value chips, which are really helpful so that the kids could understand the place values. They get the little beads, and they've been playing with these already. They're great for counting for preschoolers or first graders or kindergartners or second graders. You can do like a little abacus on pipe cleaners with beads. If you're looking into finding an abacus and you just don't have one, you can get pipe cleaners. They also um, give you a value strip, place value strips. 
Um, I haven't looked into this yet. And then an overlay. The color rods. These are the color rods that you would use in the actual workbook itself. And I like this because I am a very visual person. So when it comes to breaking down the number 10, it's cool to see a number rod that's seven units and three units. So seven plus three equals 10. And then it's a really, I think it's a fantastic way to teach kids. And then here are the little um, centimeter cubes, the little like ones. This clock we have used all year long for kindergarten. And my daughter's just now um, getting the gist of like 1.30, 2.30, like I'm explaining that to her. Um, she's already learned like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock on this, and it's really simple to have. This is great to have around the house. It's so small, it has a little stand, and I just give it to my daughter, and I have her match the time on a digital clock, and she will match it on this clock. So it works out really great, and then it'll go along with any of the workbooks that I'll be using this year for teaching time. They gave us a really long thing of ribbon for measuring, which is fun. And they gave us a wooden ruler, which I do have, but I don't have it for this video. Then um, this really long, I think we have to cut these out, a unit ruler. So this is a unit ruler uh, thing that they gave me, and it was very flat when I got it, but it's all wrinkled up because I had a lot of things in the actual box when I was storing it when I was in my move. And then this is the really cool um, bank thing. It's from the Learning Journey International Store and it has, I don't know if you can see there's like a glare, it has pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters and they look very very realistic. And then it has uh, one dollar bills all the way up to a hundred. My kids have already played with it. So this is just a really good manipulative to have. By this curriculum you get access to free videos. So you create your user ID and password when you go onto themevillemath.com and then you'll have access to all of the videos that he does. I know he does some on YouTube, but I think most of all of the free videos you can get through their actual website. So I'll link that all down below if you guys are interested. And this is just a video that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought you would be interested. Um, several people asked about um, Themeville when I mentioned it in a few of my videos and they said they're interested in just seeing it. So I hope this helps you guys out when it comes to maybe purchasing a curriculum for next year or the year after. And if you're like planning ahead, it's just always nice to see a review of what the curriculum is all about. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you got some ideas from it, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.